Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit. Wow, why did I even say? Who even says guys? Uh, I can't do this. I can't do it. I just got. I can't do it. Let's start again. Just start again. Just start again. Hey guys, hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram stories and photos. I just want to start off with a little bit of news and that is I found how to use the masking pen which is an awesome effect tool on Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you guys how it works. Bet you guys weren't expecting that, hey? <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I just found this tool and I just thought it was really cool and I just wanted to show you guys. So yeah, let's get started. Sorry, I just had to do it again, sorry. Yeah, let's get started. Now I do want to make this quick, simple and easy for you guys to follow. So there's five apps that I like to use. The first one is VSCO. The second one is Unfold. The third one is Snow. The fourth one is Afterlight. And the fifth one is Huji. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, oh my gosh, girl, that is a lot of apps. But for me, I love to edit photos and I love to edit videos. I think it's fun. And we'll start with the first one, VSCO. So I do have the full subscription to this app. I think I paid like 30 something dollars. I think I'm pretty sure it was like 32, 33, I don't know. It's around $30, $30 to the $35 mark, which gave me access to all the filters. And it even gave me access to be able to add filters to my videos, which is even better. So now I'm just gonna choose a photo. We'll go with this one. So what I'm gonna show you guys is my top favorite filters on this app. Now there are so many, as you guys can see. Now my favorite filters are A4, A6, a7 and then I'm going to scroll right over to the C section and my favorite filters are C9, C8 and C7. Now with this photo there's not much sky in the background it's a lot of greenery. When there's a lot of greenery I like to go with the A4 and what I do is I just go to the exposure play with that a little bit. I like to put my exposure quite low and then contrast just a tiny bit you don't want to go overboard with the contrast and then I'm going to scroll over to tone and I'm going to scroll the highlight up. Sometimes when you take a photo, you need to give it a lot of color. So sometimes I like to turn my saturation up. So I'm just going to crop now and there we go. That's the first photo. What I do is I save that to my camera roll and then I'm going to import it into Afterlife. Here it is. So I'm going to use that photo and what I like to use is dust because dust kind of gives it that bit of a grainy vintage look. I don't know. I think it's cool. And then I go to light and this gives a little bit of like an overlay leak. So there's all these different types of leaks that you can use. You can actually adjust the leaks to the way you want it. Now I love leaks that come out from the corners of the photo. So I'm going to use number four. Sometimes I use the color shift. Uh, sometimes I think it's a bit too much, but I'll just show you guys. So it gives it that bit of a 3D look. So I'll leave it at that. Um, and chroma just pretty much blows out the edges and brings the middle part of the photo out more. Now, if I wanted to upload this photo onto my story, what I would do is I would open up Unfold, which is my favorite app for collaging. So like putting several pictures in one or adding like a frame. I'm gonna import, but first I'm going to just let you guys know that I did pay for extra presets. Now, um, all the presets that I bought were like a dollar something, $2. They just range from that sort of price. And the favorite one that I like to use, which is the, um, the rip effect. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it the rip effect because it looks like a rip. So as you can see, there's a bit of a tear in the middle of the um, collage. You can add two separate photos, but we'll just go with that one. So what I found was if I saved it to my phone, the quality wasn't as good. So I'll just go straight to Instagram. It will save automatically to my phone and then it'll bring it to my Instagram story. And then I will just add music or like little gifts or text and yeah. 
Now, I just want to show you guys one more effect, which is the Huji effect. I'm starting to use this one a little less now because I've found Afterlight. You're going to go begin developing, and it's just going to give it some time. And it pretty much does the whole thing for you. I love this app. It's cool, but it doesn't give you much options to play with the brightness and the contrast and leaks. Some photos, it will automatically add a leak, and some photos, it won't. And now I'm going to show you guys how I edit to my videos. I use an app called Snow. I don't even know what to film. So I will just um, film myself, I guess. With this app, what I like to do is I like to go down to video and I'll go to the sticker. I go straight over to this little symbol here where it has the little lens. I like to use film three. That's like my favorite filter. As you can see, my face looks a bit catfish and I actually don't like that effect. Yeah, my skin does not look like this. So um, I don't really use this app for filming my face. It's more of like scenery. So you can play with like all this different cool stuff. I like this section as well. It's the one with the little record symbol and it gives you the VHS, like all these vintage effects, which is like cool as, but I think this one here is my favorite and you can like add, I don't know, Saturday with Val and the bottom will say Saturday with Val. <laughs> so I think that's cool. And what I do is I just usually record while using the app i'll just record this is really weird i did not like filming me like this okay now what i do is i'll go to done i'll save the video oh that's a really cool video um and it'll save to my camera roll then i'll open up unfold again you know unfold's really cool because with unfold you can actually use video as well and i'm gonna go to the preset that is called which is my favorite where is it yeah so ff1 and i'm gonna go to the second one which gives which gives it like a bit of a film border then i'm gonna import the video there we go there's the video and then obviously share to instagram share to instagram and then it'll open up in instagram any second now <coughs> So it's going to open up an Instagram and there we have it. We have the video. I'm not going to post that. Yeah. And sometimes I do like to add like a VSEO filter to my videos as well. So I'll just show you how I do that. Okay. So now I'm going to import a video and I'm going to go edit video and see how there's a lot of blue sky. Like I said before, my favorite filter when there's blue sky is either C7, C8 or C9. Now we'll go with C7 because Chris's skin looks amazing with that filter on. <laughs> and I'm just going to put the brightness up, play with that. You can go back and it pretty much gives you all the options um, that you get when you edit a photo. And you can add more saturation. Sometimes Chris looks a bit pale, so I'll just make him a bit tanner by using the saturation. Um, and yeah, contrast. The sharpen tool there's even the highlights in the shadow which you can play with and just to bring up the background more yeah and what i'll do is i'll save that now it does take a little while but you get there now we go to unfold and we can use a different one so we use this one and i'll just put this in the middle and then i'm going to put the same video in the background but this time i'm going to zoom right up just to give it more of an effect. And what I like to do is I like to mute it, just the bottom right corner on both videos. Then I'll save it to my Instagram. And that's pretty much about it. Like it's quite simple if you really think about it. You just have to sort of use your imagination. And for me, color, quality, and what you're shooting are the three main important things. And these apps allow you to get creative. I actually got a new camera, guys. I got the Sony A7R Mark III, and this is what I'm filming on at the moment, but I'll just show you guys. So this is the new camera. It is amazing. It's like my dream camera. So this is the new camera right here. Yeah, I love it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond to you guys as soon as I can. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and just being amazing. We can keep it on the